Welcome back to Lita vs. Sea Shield and Game 4 of Sparky's vs. NBC Game Hero. And uh, Lita has been doing some very nice two-port Wraith harassment, but I think he is starting to be in a little bit of trouble right now. Um, because despite the Wraith production, C um, has been, you know, he scouted it out early and was able to just, uh, you know, get the right defenses. Of, you know, he did lose quite a, a pretty good number of SCVs there, but, um, ooh, nice uh, sieging right on the ridge there for Lita. So he is going to be able to defend this force that was at his base, which is going to let him get his expansion up and running, I think. Um, but you know, Sea Shield just reacted very well. He was able to put down or start, yeah, put down an armory and get some Goliaths out in the field. He was also able to, um, you know, despite losing those SCVs, he was able to get his uh, expan natural expansion up and running very quickly, and um, you know, only harassed by that those wraiths. So I don't know. Somehow, Sea was just able to figure out what Lita was doing almost instantly, and. Uh, you know, now Lita has all of these wraiths and those two starports that really aren't going to be doing all that much damage for him. It looks like even Charon boosters are out for Seize Gal. Well, maybe yes, they are. Um, so, uh, you know, those Goliaths are very powerful against the wraiths. Wraiths have so few hit points; they die so quickly. And uh, you know, those Goliaths with the boosters have uh, a lot of range. So. Uh, anyways, yeah, um, Lita's got all of these wraiths that are out in the field, and for now, they're not going to be able to do any more harassment. Maybe 8, or eight to 10 kills altogether for those wraiths, which is pretty good, except that it's about 6 wraiths, and that's a, you know, including the two starports, that's a lot of resources that he's committing to that for not doing much damage. Um, however, Lita has been pumping almost straight tanks now, so he, I think he does have a little bit of a tank advantage. He's also just been able to pick pick apart at these, um, uh, you know, these attack forces that have been coming in and trying to contain him first at his ba main base and out his natural expansion. Um, so he is being able to push out a little bit just because he's got um, a little bit of an extra tank force and he's going for another expansion. Um, I suppose he is going to be floating that over. Um, this, uh, this map, by the way, is Moonglaive. I'm not sure if I mentioned that in the last part, but, um, you know, the three-player map um, and relatively uh, low resources um, for that. I, I guess he's going to be floating that over maybe towards, like, that uh, 5 or 6 o'clock expansion. That's sort of attached... I, I felt like it was more attached to the, um, you know, southeastern spawn position rather than his own. I think, you know... The more natural way for him to expand would be towards the north, but I don't think he wants to be ex expanding towards C right now um, while he's playing a little bit of catch up after, um, you know, a, a good Wraith harass, but, you know, a temporary military disadvantage. And right now, he's uh, Lee just got some tanks set up in the field, but um, Goliath's coming in and pushing in. That's a lot of Goliaths coming from C, and I think those are going to be able to clear out those uh, those tanks that Lita has. Um, so still now this is um, sort of evened up a little bit. If uh, Lita is able to get this expansion going, his, his third base, then uh, he could very quickly turn the tides of this. Um, you know, just because now he has sort of caught up in terms of economy, he's got his second base running just fine, and he's pretty much caught up in terms of uh, military too um, although ooh, now yeah that's unfortunate break uh, C on top of his game is able to find out exactly when this command center lands and is sending a couple of uh, vultures in there to harass that I'm gonna get a couple of SCV kills and uh, but those tanks are gonna be able to clear it out either way C knows about um, that base now and but Lita going in for some sort of later harassment with those two worth wraiths still making them work for him and uh getting a couple scv kills c is not responding to it at all he's finally sending out a single goliath but uh you know that was a pretty good harassment right there he probably got about three scv kills while c just wasn't paying attention to that 
Um, however, C is now sending a very large group, uh, a group of tanks and Goliaths and a couple of vultures to take out this new expansion from Lita. Lita is, ha is forced to lift that command center, and he's going to be pushed back for now. So, almost being able to get that economic lead, but not quite for Lita. Um, but like I was saying, he has caught up in economy, and especially if he can keep that third base down, if he can get it... Um, re-established, then uh, he will be just fine. C is expanding again, once again, but um, Lita is caught up in terms of military and in production, although Lita's military is not where it needs to be, which is down there recapturing that third base in the uh, 5 o'clock position. Um, however, he is going to be able to take down Ooh, a lot of forces in the middle of the map. He almost kept, kept both of his tanks alive when he did that, but uh, not quite. Um, so, right, you know, evened up a little bit now for Lita, and Lita has just got to step it up a little bit to try to, um, you know, win this game for Sparky's. Uh, you know, once again, Sparky's is relying on Lita to keep them in a match. And this is where Lita really plays the best, is when the uh, when the match is on the line. He's uh, very excellent in ace games, ace matches, and uh, you know also you know usually pretty good in these matches that aren't ace matches, but uh, are elimination matches, I suppose, where their team is um, on the brink of elimination, which is the case once again here. Um, Lita finally getting some troops down there in that uh, 5 o'clock position to clear out that attacking force from uh, C, and he is going to be able to reestablish that base. Maybe, actually, that's a huge group of vultures coming in to recapture and, um, you know, re-deny that third base uh, for Lita. So if Lita doesn't get something out, out here soon, he is going to be losing, well, not losing, but forced to retreat from that base again. He's got a couple of rates out there, and they are going to be picking off at that uh, at that tank. It looks like they are going to kill one tank. It's just two rates, so it takes forever for them to kill it. But, um, you know, finally one tank going down. Uh, a second tank might go down, but uh, C has been able to send in the rest of his vultures in there, and he's killing off um, a good number of SEVs, so... Even though Lita was able to do a lot of SEV harassment with his Wraith later on in the game, um, the more traditional Vulture harassment from from C is paying off just as much. And C is um, really being more of the aggressor in terms of harassing the economy. Um, you know, Lita coming up with a more creative way of doing it, but, uh, you know, it's still not going to be enough for him. Um, dual engineering base going down for uh, uh that's never mind that's not a surprising thing maybe it is <laughs> i i don't know where my head is right now anyways uh back to this game we've got a uh, lita is finally starting to get a substantial um yeah okay I, engineering bays are just for upgrading uh, uh Infantry units. Why is he, I don't know why he's doing that. Maybe he just wants them to scout more. Maybe I don't know. I, I can't imagine that he's going to be upgrading infantry units right, right now. I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> um, Lita finally getting a good group of uh, vultures in the field. That's what I was trying to say earlier. Um, he is still working on defending that. Um, middle of the map a little bit and uh yeah okay so he's just using them for scouting information right now that's what those engineering ways are for um i feel much better about the world now all right and uh finally uh yeah so what i was trying to say twice or three times in a row now is that lead has got some vultures and is placing some mines so he he's finally going to be able to catch up and do this um harassment stuff that uh you know, C has been able to do. He's also sending in a dropship, but um, that is spotted out by C with um, some random vultures that are in the field. So I don't think that this is going to be particularly effective. I think C is responding to that quite appropriately. 
However, um, C is sending down a couple more tanks to, I think, once again attack that third base of Lita's and, uh, you know, eating a couple mines in the process. Maybe he's just going in to get a little bit more of a containment um, to, you know, sort of wrap around and make sure that those three bases are all that Lita can have. Um, right now, C is only on three bases as well, but with his map control, he, uh, he sort of is the... Um, de facto owner of the entire east side of the map as well so you know that's another spawning location and you know three more bases that he could potentially take Lita finally going down for a drop in the natural expansion but he's forced to retreat it because uh, C is all over that dropship he knows where it's moving he knows what's in it excuse me he knows what's in it and uh, you know he's gonna be able to defend against any of these drops Lita's just gonna have to hang that back and wait for or, um, you know, some sort of skirmish somewhere else to maybe take the attention away from uh, from C in order to get this going. Oh, I think I'm running long on this, so I'm going to take a break right now.